Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you to me for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, hello, hi and welcome. My name is Amomo Ahi and I hope you love it here and that you show me your love by joining this family by clicking that red subscribe button. Okay guys, so um, I promised you guys this video <laughs> and actually one of my subscribers, um, I think her name is Wandile, was like, Mama D, can you please already just share um, the video on the concoction that you use to keep your tummy stretch mark free? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I thought I was going to try to be as real as possible with you guys, but like my nipple stands have been wilding. <laughs> my nipple stands have been wilding, guys. But eh, eh, I think I'm just going to wear my jersey because I'm also feeling a bit cold. At least it will still show my tummy. And then, yeah, we can basically just get right into the video. I think this is still real because you can at least still see my tummy. Let me show you guys. But you see, currently, I'm still like stretch mark free. And I wore shorts so that I can show you guys also like where i apply the stuff i use but first obviously let's talk about the ingredients that i use um so first things first oh guys I've, i'm at that stage where i run out of breath when i talk <laughs> which is so weird for me but anyway so all these products that i'm about to show you i basically got them from from this came it's this came take a lot and pip those are the three stores that i bought these things from sorry um so yeah what you're first going to need is um some glycerine it's like 50 mils that i got so i've used these before um and i tried started using this concoction in february yeah in february so I found I was pregnant like end of January and then like mid-Feb I was like hey prevention is better than cure um, I know a lot of people say that um, well research rather says that stretch marks um, are sort of like a I don't want to say hereditary but like it's it's like if, if, if the females on your maternal side have stretch marks then chances that you will probably also have stretch marks so on my side my mom doesn't have my aunt doesn't my grandmother doesn't but i wasn't about to personally i wasn't about to take the chance and try see honey if i will get them or not so from the get-go i was just like uh i'm not gonna play that game i'm just gonna try and you know moisturize my skin as much as possible and keep it hydrated you know so yeah so yeah, as I was saying, so 50 mils of um, glycerine, and honestly, you can use any other glycerine, like your usual clear, or I don't know what that other brand is called, but yeah, but I got this glycerine from Discam, it's 50 mils, I think it was about 20 rands, um, and then we're also going to need castor oil, I don't know if you guys can see, this is also 50 mils, I think I got it for about... 20 30 rands let me check i actually did notes on it i did notes just so i can give you guys the right prices uh so yeah whoa what is happening okay yeah yeah the cost of oil 50 mils was about 24 rands and then i got 100 mils of the coconut oil i got this for 32 rands and then olive oil but honestly guys with olive oil you can use like um your normal extra virgin um olive oil the one that we use to cook um so personally i like used too much of this <laughs> when i first did this mixture so i'm out of it i just kept it just to show you guys so i'm just gonna use my um olive oil that I got from Food Lovers Market. It's like extra virgin olive oil that I got from Food Lovers Market. Food Lovers. Yeah, Food Lovers, man. <laughs> 
Um, okay, cool. The sec the other thing that you're also going to need is your raw shea butter. Okay, now I got this shea butter because I absolutely had no idea of where to buy raw shea butter. So guys, online shopping, take a lot. That's my go-to. So I got this off take a lot. But to be honest, at first, because I didn't know, I used this, this tummy butter thing right i use this as a sub um as a substitute for the organic one but now i'm gonna try it with the organic but i use this um palmer's cocoa butter formula the tummy butter stretch marks i think yeah this was about 80 bucks on take a lot yeah so i used about half of this the last time i was doing the mixture but now i just like use it Every time I start feeling an itch or something, I start, I just rub it on there. And then, yeah, the last oil I've been using is this Cocoa Heaven Tissue Oil by Bramley. You get this at PEP, guys. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was also like 20 rands. I'm not sure. I think it was about 20 bucks. But yeah, that's pretty much all that you need um and then you obviously need like an m2 container <laughs> guys please don't laugh i know this looks like a sugar basin or something i got this at mr price home specifically for this concoction because i didn't have like an empty glass bottle or anything like that, that that i could potentially use so you don't need to spend some coin on this honey if you've got an empty bottle just take that and use that um but yeah i think i bought this for about 30 rands so it wasn't like really like um, breaking the bank when I got this. So yeah, and I love it, absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys just how to basically get the mixture done, okay? And also just a heads up, the, these are mostly like essential oils which are highly recommended in terms of um, preventing stretch marks or curing stretch marks. And I know you can also use like your, if you want to juice up your mixture, you can add like um, rose, I think it's rose hip, rose ship hip oil, whatever it's, seed oil rather. You can use lavender oil. Um, I'm trying to, and almond oil is also good for stretch marks. So you can juice it up a bit. That's if you have all the money in the world to buy all these essential oils. I just bought the ones that I know are like key key and the ones that my friends my friend recommended so yeah let's get right into making the mixture guys okay cool guys so i'm basically gonna use this pot to melt some shea butter and obviously some coconut oil because it's cold it's like hard hard but i just boiled some water in the kettle just so i could melt it down a bit because yeah, I can cut this open. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm just going to add the coconut oil in there while I get to melting some sheer butter in the stove. Okay, so that's what the sheer butter looks like on um, inside. Let me just switch on my stove. Guys, I use a gas stove, so don't be shook. I don't know how many spoons I'm gonna... Oh, scoop, this is so hard, actually. But yeah, so that's one. I think I'll make it two for now. Two. Yeah, I don't know. That should be fine, I think. That should be fine. So yeah, you're just gonna quickly melt that. Okay, I think the sheer butter has melted enough now. It's just that it's obviously hot right now. So I'm just gonna leave it aside for a bit. Okay, cool, now that the sheer butter has nicely melted i hope it's not too hot guys and i hope it won't crack this um thingy i'm just gonna pour it in there cool and then now i'm going to melt um 
or rather, yeah, the the coconut oil. <laughs> Okay, cool. Now adding the coconut oil. I wasn't left with that much, so I'm just gonna try get all of it out. There's still some stuck in there, so I'm just gonna try use the spoon. Not gonna work. Okay. It's like slowly coming out, but yeah, we're gonna add the coconut oil. Also, please don't mind the crustiness of my pot, guys. I had to use an old pot for this. <laughs> there was no way I was going to use my nice pots for this, honey. Cool. Now that has melted, I'm just going to switch our stove off and obviously just let that cool down for a bit and then add it to the sheer butter mixture that we just did. Okay, cool guys, so yeah, this has cooled down a bit, so we're just gonna add it to that mixture. Also, there aren't any like accurate measurements that you should be using. I think just use your gut feeling, to be honest. <laughs> if it seems enough to you, then it's probably enough, honey. Cool, so let's go add the rest of the ingredients. Okay guys, so we are basically only left with these ingredients to add and as i mentioned earlier i ran out of this olive oil so i'm just gonna use my normal cooking olive oil it serves the same purpose and i'm probably just gonna add a bit of that as well but i told you guys i normally use this and that throughout like um <laughs> random random times in the day when i feel a slight itch on my tummy just so i don't scratch it um i rather rub these two on or rub the actual mixture but yeah it depends on what's closest to me cool so we're gonna go ahead and basically add some glycerine so my glycerine was pretty much almost done so i'm just gonna add whatever's left of it and it looks like it wasn't a lot. <laughs> cool. Like I said, guys, use whatever measurement you think works for you. <laughs> There's no exact scientific formula to it. Then I am now adding the remainder of the castor oil. So guys, this just goes to prove that the mixture lasts for a very long time, right? Because I did this mixture in February and imagine it's now July and that's when I'm actually doing it. But then my, I actually ran out of this probably two, three weeks ago. I've just been lazy to do it. But yeah, so it lasts for about March, April, May, June, four months. So it just goes to show that, yeah, it's worth all the coin. So yeah, add the rest of the castor oil. Uh, cool. Jeez. Okay. And then we're going to add some olive oil. Let's see how much I want to put in. There, that should do it. <laughs> that should do it. Cool. And then, yeah, I'm gonna add some of this tissue oil. I'm happy with that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Like, that's really it. Um, I obviously didn't make that much of it because I was using the remaining um, ingredients from the last time I did this mixture. And yeah, so that's... <laughs> That's the concoction that I use and it's been honestly working out amazing for me. Um, so I used to have like almost developing stretch marks over here, right? But then that wasn't from the pregnancy. But then obviously like, you know, when I put on um, the mixture, I put it on pretty much everywhere. And honestly, I put it like on my tummy, on my boobs. 
like over here on my back and yeah right here because those are the common places that people normally get stretch marks when they are pregnant so yeah that's where i put that's where i put it another thing also is that you can add this to your body lotion as well so you could make obviously slightly more add it to your body lotion and every time you feel a slight itch just rub it on there guys because also scratching doesn't help if you are really trying to prevent um stretch marks but yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and useful if you do try out this concoction please do let me know let me know if it's working out for you if you have other essential oils that you feel like should go in there let me know but i know vitamin e oil like i mentioned earlier that's a key one that you could also add or lavender oil if you want it to smell nice as well so yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for watching um, and yeah, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, share this video if you feel like it's going to be useful for somebody else as well. Otherwise, until the next video guys, bye!